You have made, um, for your debut into the Fast Universe, in my opinion, quite a lasting impression on, on what will be remembered here. Thank you. You said this was a gift of a role. Why did you say that? I, it's a gift of a role because, you know, it, it the, the, the role has an imaginative spirit to it. This is a man that is part, part human, part uh, robot, uh, all ego. Uh, he has a cause that he's going for and he will not stop at anything to get it. And, um, you know, there's a little bit of charm and charisma around him as well. Um, I had a great time playing it. It was also a gift because, you know, uh, I get to play a big bad guy in one of the biggest franchises in the world with Jason and Dwayne and David Leach, a good team, and the production team, Vanessa Kirby. I mean, it was great. It was really good. Um, clearly, he's the antagonist, Brixton, but do you see him as a bad guy, as a villain? He has a purpose, doesn't he? He does have a purpose, yeah. I mean, he's obviously the, the sort of bad guy in the show. He calls himself the bad guy, but... The truth is, I think he's just like believes in the cause. He believes in the purpose to a fault, almost. And uh, I think that's what m might, you know, slow him down in the end. But um, every bad guy has to have a reason, has to have a good side. You know, it can't really be all bad, all evil. It has to be something to make him that way or her that way, you know? Um. There has been an enormous amount of amazing cars and vehicles in this franchise, but the Brixton bike may win the title. Oh, really? Wow. That's a, I mean, the Brixton bike is a bit like, you know, Knight Rider in kit. You know, it's, it's this real man and horse sort of scenario. Um, and when I read it at first, you know, the, 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 the bike had certain characteristics. But as David and I started to flesh out the possibilities of this soldier, it started to take on a life of its own. I really, you know, I really thought I was going to be driving cars, but it turns out that I was not driving cars. I was driving one of the baddest bikes in the world. And you're a, a bike fan, no? I, I am a bike fan. I love bikes. I have three bikes. Um, talk a little bit about the fight scenes between you and Jason and Dwayne. Completely different styles and approaches, yet melding them together to make what you did. What was that process? Uh, it was a collaborative process, you know, David Leach is that type of director, he uh, comes from a stunt background and wanted the actors to be in the frame. And that was an important distinction, you know, it meant that, you know, I had to really pull it together, bring it in, make it really uh, as um, you could see me doing the moves. Um, Jason and Dwayne have done this sort of thing way more than me, so I, I just fit into the jigsaw a little bit. But it was great. It was um, one of these moments that in film that I would not forget. Um, Chris Morgan very proudly gives you credit for the Black Superman line. Where did that come from? Because it is the the killer line for audiences. Yeah, I think it was really one of these moments in an improvisational speech. It wasn't improvisational, but you know, should I let that go? Um, so Chris had written this really great speech about why Brixton is doing what he's doing. You know, he believes in the cause. He believes in saving humanity from itself. He is the evolution of man. And, and in one of the takes, you know, it just came out of my mouth and um, everyone started laughing. We pulled it together and he said, you know, we might keep that. I was like, you won't keep that. You know, you're not going to keep that. And then they ended up doing that. <laughs> Hey, it's Lisa here with the movie Extras Fact. Now, while Independence Day's visual effects are littered with CGI, one of its more compelling scenes is a scene in which the aliens set fire to New York. Unlike the rest of the visual effects in the movie that fire was real, the production team built a model city on a soundstage, installed pyrotechnics underneath, and flipped the city sideways while they lit it on fire. Hmm. Now, click here below to subscribe. Remember to tap the bell to always receive our videos in your feed.